What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today I've got a video that I'm very excited about and I've been working on for many months now and that is a very efficiently spaced condo project development in Vancouver. This project came to be at the start of the year when Westland Developments had actually seen our desk setup makeover series that you guys absolutely loved and reached out because they had a development project where there was a 40 square foot den space that they wanted to really focus in on and turn it into the ultimate den desk setup. So this video is made in partnership with Westland Developments and I'm going to tour you around the entire presentation center and some of the options as well as technology features blended with design that have all come together that really actually suits my style in my ideal living space. Beyond that, we're also gonna talk about the desk setup designed by yours truly, in which we took a space that was about 40 square foot and is usually used as either flex storage and turned it into a beautiful desk setup that has a functionality aspect and technology blend as well as some storage and decor areas. This is a type of project that we've never done before and with the expansion of the home series on the YouTube channel that you guys have really enjoyed and my interest in real estate and technology while still focusing on consumer tech, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and if if you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and leave a comment down below of your favorite feature. And if you guys want to learn more about the W68 development in Vancouver, the units start at 600,000 Canadian and is in an area that has a lot of amenities. So I'm going to leave a link to everything down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and give you a tour of the presentation center and the layout and some of the cool technology features that are both very visible and some of them hidden and like subtle details that they really focused on, as well as, of course, the desk setup up that we're talking about and kind of like a micro space that should give a lot of people inspiration as to how to take a room and build it into something awesome. So now let's go ahead and give you guys a tour of the space and I'm going to start with the kitchen because this is one of my favorite areas of the way they've designed and utilized the space while integrating technology and the way they've kind of designed the seamless look and everything does make everything feel a lot bigger. The integrated appliances also help a lot as well and I think this right here is literally my style and it's one that we're taking a lot of inspiration of to the next project where you have like a light base and an overall feel that is just like a clean color scheme but at the same time you have a contrasting floating millwork up here with the hood fan and everything but yeah let's start out with like this side you've got the dishwasher which is all integrated and you're also going to notice that there is no hardware at all in fact even the drawers are all slide out and you can access all the different levels as one I feel like that is a really nice touch and up here you also have a ton of of areas to store some food and everything as well. I also really like the LEDs that go all the way around and they've also kind of cut it off on the edge of each side while running the LEDs throughout the sides as well, just to give some more depth. On the other side of tech, you could also just place your phone on the countertop and it will start wirelessly charging it. It is just straight through the quartz top and the two centimeter stone is like a very contemporary look to it. And beyond that, some other tech touches are a actual UV drawer right here. So you can just put your phone or tablet after a day of use, put it in the drawer and it will actually sanitize it. And that's been a very popular product especially in the last year. Everything is just very well thought out, very compact. I like that the island is just fully open. The sink is actually on that side. So you can have all your prep. You can have your like computer over there and just doing some work. You can wirelessly charge your phone. And generally speaking, having this whole area nice and open and just having a few like decor pieces or your drinks just makes it feel a lot bigger. Another aspect that I also really like is the millwork fridge. And it is one piece that goes all the way to the top and it reveals your storage as well as the refrigerator itself and your freezer is right below that. But once again, a very seamless design. All the appliances are super high end. You got a Gagano stove and fridge as well as a Miele oven and microwave. So yeah, in terms of the kitchen, it comes in a light and dark color scheme. Personally, I think the dark one looks the best. I really like that contrast in color. I think they picked a really nice tone. You've also got a very seamless look with the backsplash that is stone and goes all the way along the edges as well. And I feel like that just once again gives it a very airy feel. So this right here is one of the 40 square foot den spaces and they have it in a few different configurations whether you want to have like a work from home setup or you just want to have it set up as a guest room with some storage above. Overall both options look really good and it does come down to your needs. Uh, in my case usually my friends just sleep on the couch and I would like to have a desk set up 
But as you can see here, there is still room to have like a laptop and everything and a space to get ready. And for the amount of space that you have, it is still like very cozy, very stylish. The use of lighting and the areas of the storage placement and everything all kind of comes together. So they've kind of laid out the options for you to choose from. So now moving over to the washroom, this is one that reminds me a lot of the newest investment property that I'm working on and that it is pretty compact, but they've used the space very well. Some of the things that you'll notice is that there is a storage behind the mirror that is always a nice touch, but there's also shelving with mirrors behind it and also areas just to have like candles and stuff just to feel like you're able to decorate it like a home. But the color and everything is one that I'm a huge fan of. And another detail that I also really like is that the sal stone countertop is used in the sink as well. So that all kind of comes together here and it just has like a very premium feel to it it is super seamless all of the tiles are also floor to ceiling so that makes the place feel a little bit larger as well all the cabinets are also floating so it's easy to clean underneath and have additional storage but this bathroom is just very functional there's even a sill for your smartphone and they've really considered all the things right here so as we move kind of from the dining room over to the living room i like the fact that it transitions very smoothly they've used up every single corner and this style of couch just goes very well right up to the edge but it also doesn't take up too much space I also really like this whole like TV media cabinet right here where you have shelving for decor as well as some storage that is all off the ground once again to make the place feel a little bit larger. There's also plenty of room for a large TV like 55 inches at the very least and from there you're able to enjoy some TV while you look out into this great view on your balcony. So now we're in the outdoor space and every unit does have a nice large balcony that allows you to really look around and on this side it is like a visualization of the view and as you can see a lot of it is pretty much unobstructed constructed there are no like tall condo buildings or anything but it's definitely like plenty of space to be able to have your patio furniture you could have like a mini fridge and a and a barbecue and everything and i think it's just like very nicely laid out and the fact that you can look out through the living room and the bedroom on certain configurations once again makes it feel very airy and open so now let's go ahead and talk about the den desk setup and the biggest challenge was the fact that we had to remind ourselves that it is 40 square feet to work with and usually that would be like a large storage room or maybe like a walk-in closet. But in this case, it was going to be someone's workspace. And I feel like it was one that we could definitely work with and there are great options out there, but trying to ensure we have everything and thinking about all the aspects of making it feel as large as possible, um, ensuring that you could spend a long period of time comfortably, um, connecting it through light and music and just like small details here and there when considering the pieces that we were choosing, those were all factors that we had to go through. So through the design process, there were renders and different versions and feedback that went back and forth, whether to add sound panels or not for conference calls, uh, the types of lighting, the, the smart home system. These are all things that were really fun parts of the collaborative process. So when it comes to what we went ahead and used, the desk that I chose is the Ergonofis Sway. And this is one that I'm a huge fan of because it is made in Canada. The tops are made in Montreal. It is the highest quality wood. We have it in our office as well. And overall, just choosing the best material and giving you a nice feel for like a home setup as opposed to in like a standard office where they may not invest in something that expensive is just an area that we wanted to add to the high quality fit and finish of the W68 development. So that desk is 72 by 30, which gives you a good amount of depth. You can also cut it down to like a 24 or get a smaller size, but 72 is really able to take advantage of the length in a 40 square foot office. It is a sit stand desk. So we went with a white frame and I feel like that is just like a nice blend into the wall. So it doesn't feel like the legs are imposing or anything. So overall the desk itself allows you to sit for a few hours, stand for a few hours. Along to go with the great ergonomics of being able to sit or stand, the chair that we went with is the Herman Miller sale and through the customization process I chose to go with a black and white finish with the plastic being white to once again go with the legs and the wall to blend it in a little bit and feel like that it really belongs in this compact area. In addition to that on the desk itself the technology aspect was also another area that we really had to think about. The monitor that we chose is the Samsung Space and I first saw this in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show in 2019 and instantly it was a product that just made a lot of sense and I feel like Samsung's done a great job with functional items and this is one that really goes right up against the wall so your monitor stand or anything isn't too bulky it doesn't take up any additional room on your desk that it doesn't need to but most importantly the screen quality is also really really good it comes in a 27 and 32 inch display option and also supports 144 Hertz refresh rate so for gamers out there you're able to enjoy a really nice experience there 
Because we were able to save a lot of space through the actual monitor stand or lack thereof, it gave us room to put a lot of nice accessories. So Grovemade has the monitor stand and also like area to put your laptop and have that all connected to your monitor. And there's also another area to put your like tablet or pencils and everything. But in addition to that, it also left additional room to put the Kanto U2 speakers that are also made of walnut. So that all blends into the whole like desk setup and the Grove made and everything to give you like a nice natural feel that is very warm and comfortable. The Kanto U2 speakers don't take up too much room at all. They're nice and loud. They're able to fill that den no problem and then some, and it gives you a nice high quality sound experience. It really allows you to enjoy any multimedia or general music throughout your long work day. Beyond that, there's also the Grovemade headphone stand, which keeps everything clean and tidy. And we also added a Grovemade desk mat, which is just a nice soft finish to it, protects your surface. You can put like a hot coffee cup or anything on there. It won't scratch it. And there's also some shelves above that that allow you to store some decor, some books, or just have like general accessories. It is really up to your own imagination. And with the sound panels against the wall, if you have like a conference call or anything, your audio quality is going to be pristine. Because the den is a room that doesn't really have any windows, you don't want to feel like you're kind of enclosed in a specific area of the house. And so we went with the Dyson light cycle because it is able to connect based on the time of day to the color temperature of the outside. And through the light itself, it gives you a better presence of mind of which time of day it actually is. So this is a product that is very stylish. It is minimal. And at night, it is obviously able to light up the entire room. But even throughout the daytime in the den space, it at least allows you to feel connected in some ways. And that was a smart feature that I feel like specifically works very well in a room like this. On the side of the yes, also millwork as an option that has additional storage and shelving. So you could have like family photos or like a collection of things that you enjoy. But even on the sill itself, you could put like your grab and go of like keys, wallet, laptop and work stuff. And generally speaking, the den, considering it is 40 square foot, turned out really, really nice and has a whole bunch of versatility put into one small area. The desk setup has always been one of the most important aspects of the house for someone like myself who pretty much has always worked from home. So I feel like a lot of the expertise and things that I personally enjoy has been added into the compact space. And I know this whole like work from home transition is not as easy for some as it is for others. So we tried to really put together a space that is comfortable and that a lot of people can enjoy in their own home. But now that we've taken a look at the desk setup, let's just like walk around the presentation center and some of the aspects that give you some information of the W68 development. So when it comes to some of the choices that you have for the different materials and the colors, they've given you quite a bit of choice, but at the same time didn't overwhelm you with too many options. There's the kitchen cabinets, which come in the one color, but the accent color and the floating upper cabinets and where the hood fan is, comes in an option of white and gray. My personal choice is the gray because I really like the contrasting colors. And if you guys have seen, I've done a mix of gray and light kitchens, as well as a fully dark one. And I feel like with every project, it is important to have a little bit of contrast that is surrounding a white finish, which seems to be the most popular option. Moving on, there is a nice stone in the sink and shower as well. One aspect that I really noticed in the bathroom is that the sink is fully made of stone. It is not like an additional like uh, sink fixture. It is all just like a stone piece that looks very high end. And the backsplash also goes from floor to ceiling throughout the entire bathroom, which not only feels very high quality, but also makes the space feel a little bit larger. Beyond that, the floors come in a light and a dark color option. But what I like is that the dark one is not too dark at all. It has like a bit of a blend of a grayish walnut. And if I had to make a choice, I would say the dark one is the one that I enjoy with the gray finish on the kitchen. All the choices are right here in the presentation center for you to take a look. And the presentation center itself also has its set, um, which is in the dark configuration. And as I've kind of said, the dark configuration is my personal favorite. So in the main area of the presentation center, you're going to have a mixture of things that show you the location, the amenities that are nearby, which is very important when it comes to choosing where to live. And I also noticed as soon as I came up, there is a Safeway right next door and as someone who is super lazy to like go and get food and everything that is just super convenient. But there's also parks and recreation, shopping, transportation, downtown is super close as well. And it also gives you like a visualization of what the block is going to look like when it's completed. This model right here is 
is pretty much the same size as me and it shows what the building is going to look like and which side you're gonna be facing. So that is all super cool. It also displays some of the amenities, the parks and the general floors that everybody can enjoy. And I don't know, do you guys think we should start getting these models made for like condo projects? But after hearing the price, I don't know. Uh, it's uh, We're gonna have to think about that. On this side, for example, you have your floor plans, whether it is a studio, a one bedroom, two bedroom, or even three bedroom configuration. And it just shows you which side each one is facing, the balcony size, and also some of the design cues that follow the kind of scheme that they have here at the presentation center. You also have the map and interactive stuff over there. So you can take a look at some of the color options, the renderings, and things that they put together to really help you visualize where you'd like to live. If you guys wanna come and check out the presentation center, if you're in Vancouver, it is actually exactly where this entire development is going to be built on West 68th and Granville. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. So I think it started out with the purchase of my first property a few years ago, and it took a couple years to save up before I was really able to renovate it. Um, but we decided to just document the entire process on YouTube and it ended up doing quite well. So I figured uh, it was a lot of fun to see the progression and look back at footage of a space that had a lot of potential through its layout and kind of design, but could use a lot of work in the tech and functionality side of things. So after that series went on, we decided to do a few more. Uh, started with the office space last year, uh, kind of taking a 20 year old unit and rebuilding the entire thing from the ground up into kind of the ideal production office area and that eventually led to an investment property and I think throughout the years we've seen that through the YouTube series and through the audience and great partners that we get to work with um, and how the spaces have turned out and the progressional aspect of it it's taught us a lot both in terms of time management and design and kind of balancing design and functionality together, but at the same time from an investment standpoint in the future, I feel like it's a good area to have tangible things that we can work towards and hold as a company uh, while also creating content from. I think my interest in real estate though started from a really young age. Uh, when I was a kid, I loved to like draw different houses that I saw. I would just go and take a picture and just learn to draw it, design it, and even make like floor plans of like the ideal house in elementary school. Um, for many years, I was really in the tech space of YouTube and building that side of the business. So I feel like it's all kind of come in full circle and I'm really glad that the interests that I had as a kid have kind of been brought together. So I think the biggest challenge was the fact that it is 40 square foot in terms of space. I did the math on that. It's like either an eight by five or maybe like a seven by six. Uh, so try to figure out what exactly is going to fit in and what to prioritize is extremely important when trying to build a space that has enough room for all of your computer peripherals and different lighting equipment, speakers, and everything that you would want to have in an ideal desk setup. But at the same time, also ensuring that it doesn't feel too small and crammed if you're trying to work in there through the entire day. So we went through a lot of ideas, whether it's positioning a desk a certain way, um, a sitting or standing desk, utilizing storage and the millwork. The design aspect of it in a room that doesn't have a window is also one that we had to consider as well. So I think the biggest challenge overall is the fact that it is 40 square foot to work with. So um, trying to be effective with what we put in it uh, was what we spent most of the time trying to prioritize. So I think the W68 project has done a really good job of optimizing the space that has been given through no dead corners, the choice of placement and where the living room is and how it allows you to really pick the furniture that is effective for the area, but also small details that are very noticeable once you see them, um, such as the kitchen, having a lot of depth through the millwork and also the integrated appliances such as the hood fan and the dishwasher and the fridge. It doesn't make it feel like the appliances are imposing in a way where the first thing you know notice when you walk in is that. So that is a touch that I personally really enjoy. I think the fridge looks really, really good when it's blended in. Also the fact that the microwave and the oven is an all-in-one unit. The bathroom also has a good use of storage as well through the mirror. And in general, I feel like they've thought of every detail of how they were able to take a unit that is either 400 square foot or 900 and really making it feel like it is used every inch. The floating millwork in the bathroom and the living room makes it feel a little bit larger as well and makes it easier to clean. And I also really like the fact that whether your unit is 400 square foot or 900, you get a done space for your work from home office. 
I think some of the trends that we've seen in the past year especially are amplifying what we already sort of saw before, but at a much faster scale. Um, for example, standing desks have really blown up in the past year. I think a lot of people are realizing how much time they spend sitting. Personally, I already spent a lot of time sitting and didn't really notice a huge difference in that. But I know a lot of people who are shifting to the work from home setting, and especially if you're living in like a busy city where you're used to walking to your office every day and going through the morning commute, um, standing desks are a really good way to kind of allow you to feel comfortable throughout the day. So by having a Herman Miller sail chair in the choice of uh, seating, you can sit for as many hours as you want. And personally, someone who sits, the chair is very important. But if you want to, you can just go ahead and press a button and your desk is going to rise to a height where you can stand and lean and do your conference calls very comfortably. And um, so I think that's like the area that we saw the biggest growth over the last year and also in wood desks. Uh, I also help run the page iSetups, which is like an inspiration page for people to look at home workspaces and we kind of look at the data to see what are the trends of design to inspire the designs that we do on the YouTube channel and also for projects like this. And it seems like walnut has been a texture that has been very, very popular in the past year because a dark desk is able to kind of hide the day-to-day -day dirt, but at the same time um, make you feel connected to the outside in a way, um, but not having just like a plain white desk. Speakers are also a very important thing and having a monitor is also an upgrade that a lot of people have made. I think what we've really seen through inventory alone is that people are really spending on technology for their home and office, especially in the past year.